gender of the Russian nouns. Before we start talking about the gender of the Russian nouns, let's review which groups letters of the Russian alphabet belong to. The first group are the vowels. A, ye, yo, i, o, u, u, e, u, ya. There is also a group called signs the soft sign and the hard sign. The signs do not have a sound on their own, but they make the preceding consonant soft or hard. Now, if you know the vowels and the signs, it will be easy for you to know which letters belong to the consonant group, all those that are left. B, V, G, D, Z, Z, I, K, 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 L, M, N, P, R, S, T, F, H, C, Ч, Ш, Ща. Remember that you always can get more practice with the Russian letters on my website, Alphabet Bricks. You can learn some facts about the alphabet and see more detailed information about the letter groups and see and hear many examples of various letter combinations. You can find the link to this program on icon under links and more information about this program under content. In Russian, there are three genders, masculine, feminine and neuter. In this presentation, we will talk only about masculine and feminine. In most cases, you can recognize the gender of the word by looking at its ending. If a word ends in a consonant or in a consonant ikratke, it's masculine. For example, the word pasport and business end in consonants t and s and musei and tramvai end in a soft consonant ikratke. So all these words are masculine. The word is feminine if it ends in a or ya. For example, the words mama and visa end in a and stancia and deklaratsia end in ya. So they are all feminine. It is very important to know the gender of a word because the form of pronouns and adjectives depends on it. For example, you already know that passport is masculine and mama is feminine. To say my passport, you'll need to use the masculine form of my, which is moi. And to say my mom, you'll need the feminine form maya. So you'll have moi passport and maya mama. Your in Russian means vash for masculine and vasha for feminine nouns. For example, your museum is vash muzei in Russian and your station is vasha stancia. In English, you can use the pronoun he to refer to any male person and the pronoun she to refer to any female person. You use the pronoun it to refer to any inanimate object or thing. However, the Russian equivalents of he and she can refer both to animate and inanimate objects. For example, on can mean he or it and dana can mean she or it. What is important is the grammatical gender of the word. For example, in Russian, both the word turist and passport can be referred to as on because both words are masculine. And the words mama and sumka can be referred to as ana because both words are feminine. Let's see how it works in phrases. 
Imagine you want to ask, where is my suitcase? And someone will come to the rescue and say, here it is. In Russian, it'll sound the following way. Где мой чемодан? The word чемодан ends in a consonant, which means it's masculine. Know that we are using the masculine form of мой here. Since this word is masculine, we'll use the masculine pronoun on in the answer. Вот он. Let's look at some other examples. Где ваш паспорт? Вот он. Где стюардесса? Вот она. Где моя сумка? Вот она. Now let's practice. You will see an English phrase. Try to come up with an answer in Russian in three seconds. After that, I will say the correct answer. If you need more time, just pause the video. See the column on the right for our target vocabulary. Let's start. Где моя сумка? Вот она. Где ваш чемодан? Вот он. Где таксист? Вот он. Где ваша станция? Вот она.